Don't touch my Pokemon. I'm coming for you, Woody. The sick perverts who got a, th a three second film. Sounds like a sweet deal. I'm done for the day, that's it, I'm done. So yet again, we woke up super early. We have to stop doing this because we do not handle early mornings very well. If I have to get up early one more time, I'll probably do nothing. Then we headed down to Game Traders at Seaford. Garrus, our cameraman, is nowhere to be seen. I'm getting food, it's freezing. We gotta wait for Garrus. Uh, we'll go in. Go on. We'll go Cops are So we head into Macca's. McDonald's, McDonald's. And I want to get some good footage of us eating, just as a little nice montage. So I put the camera across the table on a bin. And then Garris comes in, he rocks up at the Macca's, and comes and sits down. He ordered a coffee, and the girl who brought the coffee sort of spiked the camera on the way up. She noticed that we were filming, and things kind of got awkward. So at this point, she's walking away thinking I just set a camera up to film her give us a coffee at the table. <laughs> so we leave and then, then the, everyone behind the counter is eyeing us down. The sick perverts who got a, a three second film <laughs> of a poor girl bringing us a coffee. <laughs> so we've had our feed, it's time to get down to game trailers. Right, game trainer Seaford. Oh no, it seems they're closed. So we get there, it's still really early. The shop's closed, it hasn't opened yet. But I give them the secret wave. So we head on into game traders. Uh, Tim tells us that we have a few three dollars to spend. You guys got five dollars credit each too. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. You were like kids in the candy store. I was so overwhelmed by all the awesome trinkets and toys that this store has. I was trying to get so much of it on, on film. I hadn't even started looking at games yet because I was just the show in mind. And I, I turn my blind eye for a second and I look around and what do I see but Kane with his greasy mitts going through the PlayStation 2 games trying to catch me slipping. Look at this guy. I'm trying to film and he's trying to catch me slipping on the PlayStation 2 games. Even though I did find that slime bag trying to catch me slipping in the corner, I did feel the urge to help him maximize his search efficiency. I noticed he was doing the single flip. I'm a fan of the double flip system. This is a good okay. technique. Ready? Ready? The double. We've got to get up to like a level. Then you do the double flip. It just saves so much time. Okay, now we're starting to get into the games. I remember looking at the PS2 games, and there's a couple of things I want there, like Super Dragon Ball Z. Because someone broke my last one. Whatever. Here it is. Oh! Wow! And I hear Kane with a little shrill of joy over in the corner because he found something that I've been looking for for a while. Yeah, so we've both been looking for this for a while, and I walk over to him, and I've, I've seen what he's found. Why are you just giving it to me? You need this as well. Do you realize what you've just done? It just handed it to me. Like, it's nothing. 
And I take it and I ask, why did you do that? <laughs> you kidding? Yeah. Why did you do that? I just want to do a good deed. My good deed for the day. I didn't care. Whenever we go to Game Traders, we like to see what I've got in lately. So we asked him, <clears throat> and he started to show us all this really cool stuff. Doctor Who gear, Adventure Time stuff. <laughs> he can just like wrap that around your neck. Yeah. And then he just plays music. A Zelda sword. Then a bunch of sweet Zelda pendants. Which we bought. Nest pillows. Dragon Ball Z figurines. Bunch of Batman stuff, can't go wrong with that. I'm Batman. He ended that tour by pulling out these two boxes from under the counter that had Game Boy games and 64 games that hadn't been put on the shelf yet. And I got to have a bit of a look through and see if I could catch them slipping. There were stacks and stacks of Game Boy games, and I love collecting Game Boy games because they're like little NES games, which is really cool. Unfortunately, this box was just full of commons, except I did find a Metroid game that I wasn't really looking for, but I do collect Metroid stuff, so in a way, I guess I was. I found an obscure game. Obscure. Ooh, obscure. I... So the great thing about game traders is it's not just games for gamers to go have a look at. It's trinkets, it's toys, it's all kind of cool nerdy stuff. And every game traders we go to always has different stuff. But we were here for games. <laughs> and now the race is on. So I found a few games, Fear 2, Fear 3, and Crackdown. Super. I don't know why I keep turning my back on these people. Every time I do, they start running amok. I turn my back on them for two seconds, so I can give up, I go over and buy my freaking games. I turn around wondering where the cameraman is to get this on camera. And he's giving the camera to Kane while he's on the phone texting. I turn around for a second and Gareth starts texting and gives the camera to Kane. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell? So I've got the cameraman's attention and I've gone over to pay for my games. I've got my stack. And he tells me the price, I think it was something like $80. And, and Gareth asks me why I'm not getting Risen 2 for PlayStation 3. Well, I know it's going to be bad, and I kind of need that. It's a safer bet. You can get both. Nah, can't. And I tell him it's because I've got my stack as it is. They're in like a buy two, get one free deal. If I buy another game, then I've got to get two more games. I'm capped. I don't want to spend any more money. That's it. I'm done. That's not happening. That's always a good thing. No, it's not happening. You get more games. It's not happening. And that's when Tim butts into our conversation and asks, What game are you talking about? How much is it? 20. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, Oh, 20? Yeah, I could do it for 10. So man, if you want it, you have 10 bucks. <laughs> I'll tell you what you've already got. <laughs> Only because you're getting this though. 
I wouldn't have normally done. Uh, I wouldn't uh, have passed up. It's only 10 bucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't tell you about that. That could be a bonus game at the end. Oh, it's bucks. Damn it, Tim! And Garrus! I've spent my money! Leave me alone! Alright, so I cave to peer pressure, I go get the damn game, I bring it back, I throw it into the stack, I ask him how much it is. Uh, 9480, that should be a $5 off as well. They're still under $100. He tells me it's like $95 or something. Okay, give me Dragon Ball money. <laughs> It'll make me feel better. I look into my wallet, I only have 90 cash, so I say I've only got 90 cash. He says fine, I get the stack for 90, it's a really good deal, it works out to just over $10 a game. I don't know if it's a 90, I only got 90. <laughs> I only got 90? I only got 90 cash. Alright, I'll do it for you. Alright, thank you. I'm done for the day, that's it, I'm done. So I go up to the counter with my games, he says it's 79 bucks. I discount. It's only 79.20. Yeah. Go on by the sticker price, that's like three games for five cents, he says. Five cents for three games. <laughs> so that's like a sweet deal. And that wraps up our trip to Game Traders. We had a really good time in this store. It's just fun to go there and look at stuff, let alone buy things. I felt like I went crazy. Kane went pretty much just as crazy. <laughs> So I feel like I won the day this time. Why don't you guys let us know who you thought won? You decide. Actually, I won. Welcome to the end of the episode. <laughs> Alright, before we show you all the games we got in this episode, just want to let you know that we're not going to go into much detail as we normally do. We're going to leave that for the next Game Grab video, where we're going to go through all the games we got here and for the last month in more detail. So bear that in mind while you watch this and stay tuned for that video. So first off, a couple of games that I traded in long ago and wanted back, and now I've got them back. Crackdown and Fear Free. While we're on Xbox 360, I'll get my out of the way. I got Mirror's Edge, Mass Effect 2, and Burst Limit. Each one of these I have owned in the past and finished in the past, so... Might as well get the other 360 game out of the way, Fear 2. Ugh. Ugh. I actually never played this one. While I was going through that box of old Game Boy games, I found Metroid Return of Samus. Yeah! Okay, two games for PS3. I got Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's really hard to find this. Um, not Platinum. I think I found that one. <clears throat> My voice <clears throat> up there. <clears throat> I know this game is horrible, but... Risen 2. Well, I haven't played it yet. I'm gonna make my own opinion, but everything I've seen and heard about it, it's horrible. But I did get it for ten dollars. So. Me? Yeah, you. Nico. Obscure. An obscure game. Ah. Obscure. Ah, my farm. I'm going again. You okay? From. Oh, uh, you alright? Uh, Stop. Mech Assault. Broken Sword. The Sleeping Dragon. Is that right? No. no. Yes, that's that's right. And. Half-Life 2, a classic game that I've actually never played. This is, I don't know if this is good. Uh, I thought it was good. The Fifth Element on PlayStation 1. And finally, what am I seeing double? For those who saw the game grab video where my game got horribly and horribly disfigured by someone who decided to drop a PlayStation 2 on it. That might have been me. He's made up for it, he's come clean and he's got me a uh, brand new copy from Game Traders. I always so. pay my debts. I didn't bring mine, but we both picked up a couple of Legend of Zelda necklaces. Necklaces. So you got a Triforce and I got Majora's Mask. So we caught up with an old friend. <laughs> so we caught up with an old friend, Tyler Angeletti. Uh, he, showed, he took us through his massive collection of games. We were going to put it in this episode, but it was going gonna, gonna to be way too much. He ended up showing us over like 50 games, something like 70 games in the end. And it's just, it's way too much for me to decide what to cut and what to add in and what to talk about. So he's got a whole episode to himself. Um, that's gonna be up in the next few days, so go watch that one. I am very jealous of that kid. He's got some really cool stuff, and I actually bought some of it. So head over there if you wanna see what I bought and what he's got to show, and it's some really cool stuff, some really rare stuff that I'm sure you haven't heard of or that you wish you had. And he gives a lot of good information on it as well. He does, he knows his stuff. 
<laughs> so follow the video here if you want to go see that video. Follow the link on his face if you want to see our last episode. As always, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please leave a comment. Every comment you don't leave is another tear that Blast always cries, and we don't want that on our hands. It means a lot that you're watching, thank you so much. But, in the meantime, beat, beat him up! up. This is for you, Retro Liberty. <laughs>